liturgy, theology, and pious, mystical, spiritual um, asceticism. These are like three legs of a tripod. You know what it's like if one leg is missing on a tripod. If you were sitting on a chair that only had two, you'd, you'd wobble back and forth. There's been a divorce between these three. When they divorce and they separate, what happens? Uh, each of them gets messed up. Liturgy comes to be thought of only as, you must like this sort of thing. Little jazzy, fancy stuff. High church, low church, just liturgy. Theology comes to be thought of as a, a merely academic scholarly discipline. Mrs. Murphy wouldn't be a theologian, but uh, you have to go become a master of divinity and get your degree in order to be a theologian. And then the piety or mysticism becomes self-directed. Uh, this is my need. This is what I engage. So my reason for wanting to connect mysticism and theology and liturgy is so that our mysticism doesn't um, mimic us, but rather we imitate Christ. I, I'm, I'm afraid that uh, mysticism can often uh, run adrift that way. I had a grad school professor who said that mysticism uh it, it starts in the mist, revolves around the eye, and ends in schism. <laughs> <laughs>